how to remove and reinstall the main piston on the Smart Choice Gen 2 system. One of the service tips that I like to do when I was in the field is that the salt tank is sitting right next to the system as I flip the lid upside down and use it as a tray to put my parts in. To get the main piston out, the first step is we're going to push the clear tabs on the clear cover in, open it up. We're going to pull out on the black tabs on the front cover, pull it forward, and remove it. You're then going to pull off the power wire and the meter wire and remove them from the holders on the side of the main drive bracket assembly. To remove the main drive bracket, there's two tabs at the top that you're going to pull up on. Drive bracket pulls forward, lift up to remove. This exposes the main drive cap assembly, which what we use to remove that is the Smart Choice Multi-Tool. Or if you don't have this tool, you can use a screwdriver and work it sideways to remove the main piston end cap. With the multi-tool, it just makes it much simpler. We're going to unscrew this. This is going to allow me to remove the end cap assembly, the main piston, and the regenerate piston. At this time, I can also ac access the seal and spacer assembly if I need to replace this or inspect it. To reinstall this, all I need to do is put the main seal and spacer assembly back in the system. If I remove the piston off the end cap assembly, this is a worm gear driven system. So if I spin this up and I have the piston removed, the only tip to reinstalling this is that you put the piston back in place. You're going to take the worm gear drive and you're going to spin that down to the main uh, piston is just inside the drive cab. That's so you don't knock it off when you put it back into the valve. You're going to reinstall this, pushing in on it to get the threads to start. You're going to tighten this down. Then you're going to use the Smart Choice Multi Tool again and you're going to snug this down firmly. Okay. You're going to reinstall your drive bracket assembly, making sure to hold the wires out of the way. It's going to sit on the two alignment tabs. Make sure that you snap it back in place firmly. If it doesn't want to snap back in place, you were you have to wiggle the white gear to align the, the teeth with the drive bracket. Snap it back in place. Put your wires back in place. Reinstall your meter cable and your power cable. When you do this, the system is going to reboot and self-home. After the system is finished, reinstall the front cover, close the clear cover, and you're finished.